Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. We go straight to the point. The subject is bravely made clear and often illustrated. Let's start. Today's topic include inclusion body myositis, IBD, dermatomyositis, and polymyositis. Inflammatory myopathy is disease featuring weakness and inflammation of muscles. The cause is unknown. It, is, it can be associated with underlying cancer. And the main cl class are polymyositis PM, dermatomyositis DM, and inclusion body myositis IBM. Inclusion body myositis IBM is a progressive asymmetric muscle weakness. Include proximal and distal function. Weakness and wasting of both distal and proximal muscle in the finger flexor and the knee extensor. Two parallel uh, Two parallel mechanisms process appear to occur in the IBM. The first one is autoimmune, and the second one is degenerative. A main symptom is the heliotrop rash, and the treatment for the heliotrop rash is anti malarian. In addition, sunscreen. Exposure to sun may make symptoms worse. Prednisone is most often prescribed for heliotrop rash. Let's review. Inclusion body myositis is the most common inflammatory muscle disease in older adults. IBM is more common in men than women. It is characterized by slowly progressive weakness and wasting of both distal and proximal muscle in the fix, uh, finger flexor and knee extensor. Two processes in IBM, autoimmune and degenerative. Weakness come on slowly over months to years in an as asymmetric manner and progressive steadily, leading to severe weakness and wasting of arm and leg muscle. There is no effective treatment for the disease. Let's move on to polymyositis and dermatomyositis. What is dermatomyositis? It's polymyositis in addition of skin magnification. Lydian rash, rotten papules. Polymyositis has only the inflammatory uh, Proximal muscle weakness. The patient tell you, I can't comb my hair. I can't lift book on the chair. Dermatomyositis, lilac rash, v -sai. Heliotrop rash around the eyes. Groton's papier for the fingers. Another illustration about heliotrope around the AIDS. Proximal muscle weakness. How to make the diagnosis? CPK aldolase, anti GO, and biopsy. Muscle breakdown, creatine phosphokinase over 15,000 and all dollars go up. Muscle breakdown, CPK over 15,000 and all dollars elevated. Then anti-nuclear antibody, anti-GO antibody must come in in idiopathic inflammatory myopathy. The confirmatory diagnostic is biopsy. But if biopsy is not confirmatory, we do 
electromyogram. The most important thing about myositis is the differential. With myasthenia gravis, because there is some myasthenia and weakness for myasthenia gravis worsen with time. Here is the aim, but at the end of the, uh, the day, the patient is so tired. In addition, there is a lesion. For lumbar eaton syndrome, a paraneoplastic small cell cancer with weakness, it's the opposite of myasthenia. The patient improved during the day. He is tired in the in the morning, but at the uh, at the end of the day he 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 feel good. Another differential with endocrine disease, hypothyroidy, hyperthyroidy, and adrenal insufficiency. The last thing to know about the differential is drug induced myopathy. There is three drug, steroid, cyclosporine, and statin. Dermatomyositis is often associated with cancer. Do age-appropriate screening for women, mammography, and for men, check the prostate. Colonoscopy for both men and women. MCTD is an intersection of many diseases as connective tissue. SLE, scleroderma, polymyositis, rheumatoid arthritis, and Sjogren syndrome. MCTD, mixed connective tissue disease, autoimmune disease, anti-U1, ribonucleoproteid RNP elevated plus mix of symptoms of systemic lupus erythematous, scleroderma, and polymyositis. Let's review. No ocular symptom, differential with myasthenia gravis, weakness worsen with time, lumbar eaton syndrome, paraneoplastic small cell cancer, weakness improve with time, Hypo and hyperthyroidism, adrenal insufficiency cause proximal muscle weakness. Drug induced myopathy include steroid, cyclosporine, and statin. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Would you like to click the like button and subscribe? Your comments are very weak and thank you.